the name of Allah. Welcome in Al Shrub Private Schools, English Department, Revision Part 2 for Prep 2. Today we are going to revise the past simple tense, which we use it to express actions that happened in the past. We have two kinds of verbs here, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs, the verbs which we add D or ED or IED, like, play, played, like, light, study, studied. Irregular verbs, the form of the verbs are chained. Like go, went, take, took, put, put. And here we have some examples. Number one, I played tennis yesterday. Number two, they went to school last year. Played is a regular verb because it's in, it ends with ed. Went is an irregular verb. The form of the verb has changed. Okay? Now, let's see the, the form of the negative in past simple tense. Here we have some examples. I didn't go out for a walk yesterday. They didn't play tennis last night. The role will be subject or any pronoun like I, they, we, you, he, she, it, or anything plus didn't plus infinitive. Now, let's show the form of the question. Yes, we know. Question, did plus subject or any pronoun plus infinitive and don't forget the question mark here. Example, did you play tennis yesterday? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Like here, did plus subject pronoun you plus infinitive play. And here we have keyword of the past simple tense yesterday. When I want to use WH question, like in what did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I studied English yesterday. The role will be question word like what or when or where plus did plus subject or any pronoun plus infinitive the answer will be I studied English yesterday here we have some keywords in past simple tense, like yesterday, last night, last week, last month, or last year, ago, once upon a time, one day. Now, answer this exercise. Read and correct the underlined word. Number one, my school opened 10 years ago. Open is wrong. Ago is a keyword of the past simple tense. Okay, the answer will be opened in the past simple. 
Number two, does she study math yesterday? Again, does she study math yesterday? Yesterday is a keyword of the past simple tense. And here we start the question in the past simple tense with did. Excellent. Number three. They don't go to school last week. Don't is wrong. Last week, it expresses actions or action in the past. يبقى هنا بنفي بكلمة أيوة فكر معايا. Excellent. Didn't. Very good. Now let's talk about the future. We have two forms of future. Number one, am is r plus going to plus infinitive. Where am is r you get them? The pronouns. I, he, she, it, we, the, you. زي ما انتم شايفين هم متقسمين. Here we have some examples. I am going to visit my cousins next Friday. Again, I am going to visit my cousins next Friday. I have decided this already. يعني أنا بالفعل قررت إن أنا هزور أولاد عمي الجمعة القادمة. Number two, it's cloudy. It's going to rain. Predictions with evidence. توقعات مع دليل. توقعات مع دليل. يبقى هذه استخدامات التكوين الأول من the future simple بقاعدة going to plus infinitive. يبقى نستخدمها لما يكون plan في دماغنا يعني قرار واخدينه ومخططينه رقم اتنين لما يكون تنبؤات معها دليل مثل المثال رقم اتنين it's cloudy it's going to rain The second form of future is will plus infinitive. Will plus infinitive. وقبل will يجي كل ال pronouns. Here we here we have some examples. Number one, I think it will be cold tomorrow. زي ما انتو شايفين will جاب بعدها infinitive وقبلها طبعا ال pronoun والجملة دي هتكون prediction without evidence يعني توقع بس بدون دليل يقولك الجو هيكون بارد غدا بس ما عندوش دليل number two will you send me a message طبعا ده request Number three, the phone is ringing. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. طبعا أبصرفي L L اختصار لكلمة well. تمام؟ وأنا استخدمت هنا القاعدة بتاعة well plus infinitive لي لأن ده quick decision. Quick decision. خلاص؟ قرار سريع. تلفون بيرن. هجاوب عليه نمبر فور I will help you with your homework ده طبعا بيكون offer وطبعا ما ننساش ال negative form بتاع ال will تبقى will not كده أو won't and let's answer this 
exercise choose the correct answer number one i think it today will rain must rain could rain is going to rain excellent will rain ليه؟ لأنه prediction without evidence يعني توقع بدون دليل بيقول لك الجو هيمطر وهو ما عندوش دليل number two will you me some photos يا ترى نختار send sends send sending فكرت الرول بتاعتنا بتقول will plus infinitive يبقى فين الانفينيتيف رقم او حرف C اللي هي send number three what at the next weekend يا ترى نختار ايه could you do you do are you going to do what you do طبعا في كي وورد للفيوتشر هنا اللي هي نيكست ويكند تمام يبقى كده هنختار ايوه اكسلنت ممتاز هنختار حرف سي ار يو جوينج تو دو عشان يبقى السؤال وات ار يو جوينج تو دو ات ذا نيكست ويكند ماذا سوف تفعل في عطلة نهاية الأسبوع القادمة. And finally, thank you for listening.